Hey everyone, Storm Anderson here from Kumo Partners. And today I wanted to go over a topic that we almost run into every time when we're working with new clients that are really unfamiliar with what low code or the power platform is even in general. And so what we'll come across is a lot of organizations are so used to working in Excel and working in their tables and their sheets that as we talk about automation and mobile and response and all these different concepts, they can have a really hard time trying to visualize just what their Excel file is actually going to turn into. And so this question inevitably of what is it going to look like always comes across at some point. And so what we do is we try and explain, of course, through visual demos. One of those that I want to share with you today is our Kumo Project Tracker. This application has the same origin story coming from an Excel file. We used to work with a client at the time and we were tracking our UAT process in that file. And so as the user was logging tickets, uh, bugs, enhancements, action items, this, that, and the other, the list grew into the hundreds and it was quickly becoming difficult to try and manage 15, 20 tickets changing statuses every single day potentially. And so what we did was we built this application to really help try and bring together some of the features that were lacking in Excel and what Power Apps and Power Automate could do to really bring it forward. So let me bring that Excel file up now to show you what we started with. So here's our application that looks at how we could transform that Excel file into an app. So what we have here is you start to look at is the table of data that's sitting on the left hand side. So you can think of this as the Excel file, of course, all the list of items and those columns for each of them. We have some of the parity of being able to sort and filter by this. So you can sort by the ID, you can filter by the ticket type, and this also compounds. So for example, here are the high priority issues. Outside of that, we also have the ability to search. And so if we need to search against multiple columns, you can see that we can pull that in and easily the table of data will change to that. Now, let's say we needed to create a new ticket. This is one of the examples where it starts to get a little different from Excel because instead of just typing into a new row and just having someone hoping someone is going to fill out that row of data correctly, now we could actually enforce with drop downs and different mechanisms all the columns and validation that we need based on our requirements. So in this case, an enhancement, this is a new ticket and I can make this low, medium, high. We also have rich text, which was not possible with an Excel file. So test, and you can see that I can put my bullets. So test one, test two, and test three. And of course, we could also assign attachments. So this was also a different feature where before we didn't have this, and now we could actually bring this in. So I'll go ahead and add that attachment and submit. So when this ticket gets submitted, now you'll see what happens is that the form automatically gets populated. We now see that this is uh, the history of that ticket. So now we can see that one, it's in the table and we can see automatically some of the different information that was tracked for it. Another feature here diving into the ticket is we can also add comments and history to that. So I'm now reviewing the ticket and we can put that into in progress. And you can see how all of this quickly moves along. One, the statuses automatically update for the ticket. We're now seeing the history, who changed that history and what they changed. And then we can see all of the relevant information as well associated to that ticket. So if we did need to say change this from low or medium to high, the client could do that, we can do that. But again, once it comes back to the ticket overview, you'll see that that is now managed automatically. So it's taking all of this manual work out of what we would need to do in the Excel file to actually update that value. And instead we can have some of these automations actually help us track more information uh, without having to do more work as well. Finally, the ability to subscribe. So my alerts, you can see up here that for Storm Anderson, new ticket and ready for testing. So this is a feature that we were able to build into the platform so that now whenever any client submits a new ticket, I'll be able to see that ticket. And as well, in this case, if I was subscribed to re-review, whenever that client would say that it needs additional work, I could see this automatically getting alerted to my email. And so with that, that is a common example of how you can think of an Excel file changing from just a table of data that is frustrating to filter and added data to and make sure that the data is integ 
uh, has integrity. Now you can see where an application can really come forward and provide you that additional feature and capability to really provide your application the grounds that it needs for success.